number of years, and I find him to be level-headed, a voice of reason, and a loyal friend. I've really gotten to know Jess this last couple of months of wedding planning. I find her to be as charming as possible, and maybe a bit out of Eddie's league. <laughs> I'm extremely excited for them, and the boys, and their family. But Eddie and Jess did not get here all by themselves. They've been loved and cared for by you, their families. They've relied on you for knowledge and guidance, and without you, this day would not be possible. From this day forward, Eddie and Jess will still need your support, although in new and different ways. With this in mind, do you, Rob and Tammy, and do you, Greg and Debbie, pledge to love and support this new family of Eddie and Jess as they begin their new life together? Can you, can you just imagine? They might, no. <laughs> right. So, with that out of the way, let's have a wedding. We're going to start with a blessing. So I would like to invite Jenny to come up and read a marriage blessing for us. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to your family for many generations to come. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home for all the days of your life. May you face every challenge hand in hand, and side by side, knowing that with God's grace, we'll conquer all obstacles together. May the world forever be a better place because we keep falling in love. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Eddie and Jess would like to extend their heartfelt thanks to all the family and friends from near and far that are here today. In this day, in this day and age, with what's going on, it can be hard to gather together. And I know that they appreciate that you are here. But our thoughts are also with those who cannot be here today. And a row has been reserved for the loved 